Well, we're asking if you think museums should receive more federal funding. Go ahead and vote right now at 12news.com slash bullhorn. And we're asking because many of them are struggling. According to the American Alliance of Museums, as many as a third of museums in the United States will have to close for good. And remember, these are places of learning. And we told you that a couple months ago, art institutions here in Arizona are trying to get by offering things like virtual visits, online tours, and digital musical performances even. Some have received that government funding, but in many cases, it's just not enough. Count heavily on revenue from admissions, from retail sales, from uh, facility rentals, where we rent out to weddings and things like that. So financially, it was a, it's a, been a very difficult time. This is a interesting time for the arts and cultural community throughout the country, and uh, the recovery for many will be will be challenging. Now, so far, we haven't heard of any Arizona museums having to close down for good, but they still need your help until they reopen. So what can you do? Relief funds have been set up to support them, and you can find a link to those as well as links to some of their virtual art experiences on our website, 12news.com. So here's what some of you were saying about this whole thing this morning. Uh, after Arizona starts paying teachers more, have you tried teaching kids from home during this pandemic? And they do it with 30 of them in one room. <laughs> A lot of people sympathetic with that for sure this morning. Steve says, yes, if museums do get funded by taxpayers, they should not charge an entry fee. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Uh, Robert also had a comment there. So 60% of you are saying yes right now, but uh, if you want to change what the results of that poll are at the bottom of the screen or you want to make it more so, go ahead and go to 12news.com slash bullhorn. Well, still ahead 